Engineer 775, working on a, a well, imagine that. Uh, just want to show you a little different variation, that's why I'm filming this one. Uh, again, installed a simple pump on a board well. You can see a concrete board well, two foot diameter. And on the lid, there was a casted in a well casing that was protruding just enough for us to place our cap on. So in this well is a submersible pump. They used to have a jet pump, you can see the two lines. But they had problems with that, always uh, losing its prime, and they got sick of dealing with that. So they went ahead and put a submersible pump in the well, and they've been glad they've done that. But for power outages, they wanted a backup. And so we came here today and installed a simple pump, leaving the handle on it. And uh, I'll just kind of turn this on right now, and you'll watch that gauge go up. Saw that gauge pop up there. That's the pressure that's in their pressure tank right now. I'm going to turn this off. So what you end up doing with a simple pump, unlike any other pump that's out there, because I've looked at them all, this is the only pump that uh, can backfeed and pressurize your home. So when you pump with a simple pump, you actually push water in through your line. So what we added here was a spigot and hooked tied into his existing line to his home. And so when the power's out, you just come out, make sure your hose is hooked up, turn on the spigot, and start pumping. So when you're pumping, now you're putting the water in the house, in the pressure tank. Everything stays clean. There's no problems at all. So, And the nice thing about bored wells is that they are uh, you typically shallow. And so you can easily pump up uh, 50, 60 PSI pressure. I got a little leak on the garden uh, washing machine hose here. But uh, it's check valved, so it's working uh, in conjunction with a submersible pump that's down around 35 feet and uh, so they can both be hooked into the same system so after you've done done that come shut your spigot off um, and that's pretty much it all we got left to do is uh, insulate the line keep it from freezing and I uh, just wanted to show you the other option a lot of people have asked about board wells yes you can put a simple pump on a board well the key is having the cap being able to connect to something, preferably a piece of well casing. So you could cast your own lid with a piece of casing in it and then hang a submersible pump from uh, this cap right here. So submersible pump is here, your wiring is here, simple pump is here. It makes a very nice clean setup uh, for a backup system. And with a board well, I just leave the handle on it. It won't freeze, it drains back. There's a drain back weep hole in the uh, the uh, drop pipe, about 48 inches down, so it will not freeze. So it's hard to beat that for a delivery system for your backup water. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Engineer 775, signing off.